step one download mobile xterm for that google mobile xterm go to the first search result go to the downloads tab select the home edition download the home edition installer and install it that's pretty simple uh, in step 2 download the WSL version of any distro from the Windows Store now there are a variety of operating systems distros to choose from you have Debian, Kali, Ubuntu and uh, even Arch, Fedora and OpenSUSE is also an option here. To keep this tutorial simple and to the point, I will be using Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. So click on install and wait for it to download the WSL container. After it is downloaded, launch it. It will take some time to install all the elements. After it finishes installation, enter your new Ubuntu username. I will enter my name. Then enter your password. Now you won't be able to see your password, but it, it does register it. Now update your repositories using sudo apt update. Uh, as it is the first time, it will take some time. Now, after installing Mobile Xterm, open it. Uh, click on Session, WSL, select Ubuntu as your distribution and press OK. Now, update your repositories again, just for formality. This should take less time. After that, uh, just try installing any package you want like I'll try Firefox sudo apt install Firefox now launch after it downloads um, I was taking quite some time uh, launch it by typing the package name followed by a dot like over here I typed Firefox space dot and now here we have Firefox GUI running on Windows subsystem for Linux. So this version of Firefox is the version made for Ubuntu or Debian. That's pretty cool. Anyways, I think uh, this video helped you in getting your Linux apps working on Windows. If it helped you at all, please consider hitting a like.